So now I've lined up my board right here underneath my microscope so that I can see. And you can see over here in the computer, I can see the photo of the actual chip. Now this helps me look at the alignment of the chip, make sure everything's right. I can see the writing. I know what direction it's going to be in. I need to make sure I know which side the pen is. You don't want to put a chip on backwards because uh, that would be a bad thing. So you don't want to put a chip on backwards. So we're going to leave the bad things out of this video. Uh, so anyway, I'm going to remove this chip and I'm going to cover it. I'm going to basically, in order to remove it, I'm going to put a little bit of flux on it. And then I'm going to take that flux and I'm going to move that. So I will move this out of the way. And I'm going to try to show you how to put a dab of flux on. All right, so I went and I got my favorite flux, uh, the liquid solder flux. So this messy, horrible bottle is my favorite flux. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a drop and I'm going to put it on this chip. And I mean a very tiny drop. You do not need much at all. So you get rid of as much of your flux as you can. Try not to get it everywhere. And you're just barely going to touch and paint each side of the legs to make sure. You do not want this to get on any of the other components, especially if you're using hot air. Because as soon as you do, that amount of flux will actually cause the other components to come off. So, so that's all I need from a flux standpoint. So then I'm going to try to move my camera back into position and I'm going to try to take a look and make sure and you'll be able to see on the screen that it's just wet enough and that I've got just enough liquid on each side of the, of the chip for it to work. I'm going to take a picture and so I'll actually snap a photo of that chip so that I'll have that while I'm actually working and be able to go back and look at it again make sure that I have what I want. So now in the meantime what I'm going to do, and this actually goes very quick, I am going to heat up my air desoldering. So in order to do this I'll just turn it on. Now I've preset the temperatures so I already know at what temperature that my board will basically start to melt and uh, so basically I'm going to take this I'm going to I have a piece of metal with a hole cut out and that basically I can take this chip and put it right in there and in a minute or so it will start bubbling and I will be able to remove this chip so ultimately that's what I'm looking for is to watch for this chip to start to bubble and then I can remove it Now basically uh, it's been on there for about a minute and a half to two minutes and uh, now you'll actually see it's liquid enough. I can pick up the chip cleanly and take it and put it down and then take off this board because it is hot. So now I have my chip. Now I've got to do the other board. So I'll do the same process with the flux and then I'll put that board on there. So now I have the second board in there. The air is causing it to vibrate just a little bit. And the chip is starting to bubble underneath the chip. Which will cause the solder to heat up and then release from the board. Not done yet. That chip is now off. I can now try to use the same space and line the holes back up. I'm going to turn off. And it's going to start to try to sit back in its place. And then after that happens and it cools off for a second, I'm going to uh, I'm going to put it under microscope, make sure the legs are lined up, 
make sure that it's accurate. Um, I've done a hundred of these at this point. Uh, they've worked every time so far. Uh, I did a lot of practice ones. I probably did 12 or 13 practice ones before I ever started doing one. Uh, and so this particular process has worked extremely well. Now I have to say, uh, you know, this is now the board back under the microscope. And um, I've had, you know, quite a bit of practice uh, with these particular chips. And so I've done a really good job already. Um, I lined it up while it was sitting on top of the hot um, air. And I want you to see, um, I've pretty much done a perfect job of lining the chip back up without doing any work yet. So it's pretty close to sitting back in its original location, sitting where it's supposed to be on this donor board and lining back up. The legs are really clean. Um, there's no extra material. I haven't used any extra solder or anything yet. So at this point, basically, I'm going to uh, try to make sure I touch up all the legs, heat them up, uh, try to make sure there's no cold solder. Now, one other thing I want you to note, too, is that when I do, when I come back to my solder station and I've put my chip back on, um, I, as you can see in the microscope now, I have better definition inside the microscope than what you actually see here in this photo. Uh, the photos that come through the camera are not quite as good as the definition that I actually see. But uh, this was the previous photo, and so in the previous photo now, I'll actually look, I'll make sure that the previous one, you can see those rings around the edges, this is the original photo, those rings are the flux. So that area there is what the flux looks like when you actually touch it to the board, and that was just a very tiny, small amount. But I want to make sure that I've lined the chip back up, and that uh, I have the right orientation for the chip, and I have the words in the same direction, the right pin in the right order. Sometimes the chip will actually have a little circle or something on it. It'll be pin one. One of them will be pin one. I just find it's easier just to make sure you double check on your photography. Make sure that everything looks right in the right angle. So uh, so now I'm actually going to start going back over each one of the items inside the, you know, touching down each leg individually with a soldering gun. And then I'll show you from there what that looks like. So one other thing I, I want to show you is, you know, because a lot of people are like, well, I don't have expensive equipment. I don't have all this other stuff. But, you know, you could have uh, you could have used a cheap piece of uh, solder that's called Chip Quick. And Chip Quick can actually help you remove the chip. You have to be a little bit more careful with what you're touching and it's harder to get off. But just to kind of give you an example, like, okay, you don't want to buy a microscope or something. And, you, you know, sure, the chip might look okay where it's at. But I'm going to show you what it looks like when you actually use, like, a cheap, you know, $5 loop that you can actually see and you can imagine if you're looking at this through an iPhone camera and you're looking at this loop how much more definition that you'll actually see I mean this is pretty great and awesome definition when I'm looking at this chip through my eye and trying to line this up so I just want you to realize that you'd be able to actually see quite a bit even with some cheap stuff um, these loops actually look great through my eye so beautiful. Um, I haven't touched this one up yet, so I'm about to touch up these legs, but still, there's, there's what it looks like. Now, so now what I'm going to do is um, I have my soldering gun, and I have raised him to an appropriate temperature. I'm going to clear off the tip by using my flux, and uh, I'm basically going to just touch the tip just to kind of keep it tend a little bit so that this tip is then ready to go. And it's a very small, fine tip that I will actually use in the process of doing this re-solder job. Now, one other thing to know is that I am not going to apply any more solder to this board. I'm gonna use the existing solder. Uh, every time that you try to apply more solder, trying to get a small dot, uh, it's very, very difficult. It can be done, but obviously if I can use the solder that's already there and accomplish the job, that's all that's need, needed to be done. And I've done this enough that I already know. So, uh, so that's what I'm going to do.